right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video from AA Sports Cards. Uh, it just, it still amazes me how uh, amazing a job that I have when uh, things like this occur. Recently, the owner of a used bookstore uh, in another part of the country had a nice discovery, walk into his store, and upon doing so, he uh, did some research into hockey cards and found us on Google. He emailed us. He told us what he had found. Um, I knew that we could help him and uh, thankfully he listened to my uh, my communication and agreed that uh, we were a very good option for him if he didn't want to do the work of selling the cards himself and um, he has consigned them to us to sell for him. So here, there are three cards. There were, well, there were more cards in the collection than just these, but these were the ones of significant value. There is the Barney Holden from the 1910 C56 hockey set. All of these cards are from the same set. The first hockey cards ever issued and I think you'll agree, as I do when I look at these things, I'm always amazed that they survived. And I mean, obviously the condition of this card is very, very low grade, but like uh, if it had, uh, if it could talk, imagine the adventure this card has been through in the hundred and plus years, I'm not good at math, and. It's well over a hundred years old since this, since the original person removed this from an Imperial tobacco tin or, or package of cigarettes to now it's, uh, it's weathered, but, uh, what a, what a relic this is. So that's the first card of Barney Holden. The second card in the collection is in much nicer condition. This is Jay Jones of the Cobalt hockey team, magnificent sweaters. Wow, can you imagine if one of those existed today? It would probably look uh, like it fit. It would fit a baby because it would be very, very small. But the beauty of these cards, they are, as I always say, they're, they're artwork. They're paintings or artwork for people, guys, probably, that don't like art. Uh, and there you go. I was recently at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. I don't understand art. I can appreciate it, but... I would have, I would much rather look at cards like this all day long than, uh, you know, a Da Vinci or a Monet or something like that. Again, I can appreciate them, but this speaks to me. This speaks to me. So much nicer, the second example. And the big card in the collection, which is the one that most of our discussion centered on, is right there. I'm gonna leave it nice and protected. Uh, that is the 1910 Art Ross, one of the two Art Ross cards in the set, his true rookie card. And this is going to go to PSA now, after this video is filmed, to get graded. And when it comes back from grading, it will be returned to us and we will auction it on eBay for the owner of the card. And uh, we will let the market decide the value. The highest bidder will win. It's in very decent condition, very presentable, nice colors, nice clarity. And uh, I, I'm just, I, as I said, holding this card in my hand, being contacted by this gentleman, it just, uh, you know, I got to pinch myself. I'm so lucky to be in the position I'm in. And uh, if you reside in Canada and you want our help in selling your sports cards, I believe we do a very good job. And I know that we can help you. We're passionate about it. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please visit our website, aasportscards.com, so you can read testimonials from people that have consigned to us. Um, Mr. Ross is on the way to Calabasas, California to get hermetically sealed, and uh, hopefully 
we got a nice grade for the owner of this card and we do well for him. And uh, again, just another day at the office, but, uh, but a great day at the office. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll be back real soon with more videos and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.